Now to the struggle to lock down the Super Bowl halftime show, the high profile gig. Usually it's an artist's dream come true, getting to perform in front of the biggest TV audience of the year. But this time around, performers are saying not so fast. ABC's TJ Holmes is at the site of the Super Bowl at the Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta with all of those details. What gives TJ? Hey, good morning to you. Yes, traditionally, Robach, this is not supposed to be a difficult uh, show for the NFL to book. You call somebody up and say, hey, you want to perform for 100 million people at the Super Bowl? And the answer is usually yes. Well, that was before Colin Kaepernick took a knee in protest. Now it appears some artists are protesting by taking a pass on what has traditionally been one of the most coveted gigs in all of entertainment. According to a new report, the Super Bowl halftime show is in trouble. While Maroon 5 has reportedly landed the gig, Variety says the band, known for its collaborations, like this fall's team up with Cardi B, is finding it impossible to bolster the lineup for one of the most watched musical performances of the year. According to the magazine, more than half a dozen stars have turned down what it has dubbed music's least wanted gig. We hear Mary J. Blige has said no. We've heard Cardi B has gone back and forth between yes and no and yes and no. We hear they're talking to Lauryn Hill. We hear they're talking to Usher. U.S. Weekly reported Rihanna was initially offered the slot but turned it down as a show of support for Colin Kaepernick. Variety sources say the invitation declines in part a product of the NFL's controversial handling of Colin Kaepernick and players' rights to protest on the field. Given the Colin Kaepernick situation, they're thinking, how are most of my fans going to respond? Some of the most memorable halftime shows have featured musical dream teams like Bruno Mars, Beyonce, and Coldplay. Madonna joined by Nicki Minaj. And Katy Perry with Missy Elliott. Other stars are backing away from the big game altogether. My fellow American. Amy Schumer even refused to do a Super Bowl ad, citing the Colin Kaepernick controversy. And also keep in mind, guys, that the artists don't get paid to perform at the Super Bowl. It is just an honor. So you throw that into it. You throw some controversy. And let's go with what Jay-Z said about it, who traditional or a few years ago actually turned down the Super Bowl as well. He had a song lyric in which he said, you need me. I don't need you. <laughs> Tell the NFL we in stadiums, too. Proving true right now. Has the NFL, have Super Bowl officials said anything about this controversy or this problem they're having? They're usually really mom anytime name. Cause again, Maroon 5 hasn't officially been named. So anytime that happens and names are out there, the NFL will just let it go and let it, let it build up. But nothing has been said about this. Maroon 5 not officially named. And it's getting a little late in the game, if you will. Sometimes September, October, late November is when the announcement comes. Now we're in late December and still waiting for official word, guys. TJ, yeah. this could be your big chance. My big chance to perform at halftime. George, <laughs> I'm lucky enough just to perform with you on GMA most mornings. You cold out We're there, the TJ? lucky ones. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.